second graders. So today we're going to be still working on changing landforms. We're going to be working on lesson 2.6 today. So we are going to be skipping lesson 2.5 uh, because we do not have the materials here to do them. But we're still in good shape to wrap up this chapter and still get to the same end goal. So today we're really going to be focusing on explaining how the cliff changed and we'll be doing this by completing all three activities. Okay, so just a reminder is our chapter two question was how did the recreation center's cliff change? So we've gathered a lot of information from books and investigations about how landforms erode. Remember that erode means to wear down or break away at something to make it into smaller pieces. And so now we're ready to explain to Director Higgins how the cliff has changed. So today you guys are gonna be doing an activity with a partner at home. Um, this is to get you guys started to begin thinking about what we're gonna actually be writing down in our explanation today. So there's three different steps to this process. So step one is I'm going to ask you a question and you are gonna share for one minute while someone at home listens to you. That can be another adult at home, that could be an older sibling, um, anybody that you can talk to. Step two is your partner is going to repeat what you said and then they will agree or disagree with your point. And then the very last step is that you are going to repeat what your partner said and then you will say if that has changed your mind or not. So our first question today is how do landforms change shape? So I'm going to read through the sentence stems quickly for you guys and then you'll go ahead and actually pause the video and share. So you're going to start off by saying landforms change shape because blank. Your partner will go ahead and say I heard you say and they'll repeat what you said. And then they will also add on, I agree or disagree because blank. And the very last part, which is step three, you are going to say, I heard you say blank, which is where you'll fill in what your partner said. This changed or didn't change what I think because blank. So go ahead and pause this video so you have the sentence stems up in front of you and just find somebody at home that you can talk to really quickly uh, to answer our question, how do landforms change shape? Okay, so now you guys are gonna go ahead and write down your thinking based on the conversation that you had with your partner. So in your packet, this is gonna be your first question. If you do not have a packet, then you can just kind of talk to that same person, but just try and formulate in one whole answer, how do landforms change shape? So you guys can go ahead and pause the video and answer that question. Okay. So we're going to repeat that same three-step process with another question now. So remember, you are going to state your idea, your partner is going to repeat what you said, and then agree or disagree, and then you will repeat what your partner said and tell them if it changed your mind or not. So our second question is, how did the recreation center's cliff change? So you can go ahead and pause the video and use these sentence stems to answer the question with somebody at home. Okay, now we're going to take our thoughts from what you just talked about with your person at home, and now we're actually going to go ahead and write it down. So, same question, how did the recreation center's cliff change? You guys can go ahead and answer this question by writing it down in your packet. If you do not have your packet, you can practice just telling your partner in one full answer how the cliffs changed, or you can go ahead and think about it in your head. 